It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Dr. Bernardo Castrop, Johanna F. Rotz, and the person behind the moniker Inspiring Philosophy all hold to the radical and arguably crazy notion of monistic idealism. That all is mind and immaterial. That there is no materiality. Thus, all three deny what is known as metaphysical realism, or in other words, objective reality which in this context is the position that there is an external world outside the mind, that there is a mind-independent reality. Indeed, Dr. Castro has made the radical and arguably nonsensical claim that it is our bodies that are in our minds, not our minds in our bodies. And both the Rotzian arguments that include the introspective and digital physics arguments depend on there being no mind-independent reality, since they hold that all is mind. And these arguments have been espoused and taken up by Inspiring Philosophy himself. The paradigm of these gentlemen implies or entails that we are in a matrix like Neo, a grand illusion. Indeed, the digital physics argument entails the premise that the universe is a simulation in a mind. This, to me, would destroy free will, since we would just be simulations, controlled by the godly simulator to be manipulated and forced to do whatever his will and plan demands, like characters in a video game. Is it true that our senses deceive us, and the glorious beauty of Kate Upton is simply an illusory mirage that has no objective reality? Is it true that our senses deceive us and there is no spoon? Hold a finger over the seam of this object. What was perceived to be an object with both gray and white color turns out to have been an optical illusion of that which has both parts being a similar shade of gray. Is there no objective reality? Thankfully, there is. And the paradigm of Rotz, Castro, and Inspiring Philosophy is not true as they beg the question on philosophy of perception. We can know that metaphysical realism is true, that there is an objective reality, and there is a spoon. Because these three men have not engaged the argumentation that substantiates and justifies holding to a variety of direct realism proven by Professor Michael Humer and Dr. David Kelly. I challenge them to refute these two pieces of argumentation. Otherwise, we indeed have direct contact with reality that tells us, via the senses, that solidity is true. The spoon is real. There is a world outside our minds, because that is the evidence of the senses.